Welcome to 2230, your source for engaging insights into the latest news and issues from around the Asian region. Today, we delve into a compelling story that blends the world of social media with real-life legal consequences. If you find this topic intriguing, make sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more in-depth content. In the spotlight today is Han Faizi, a 29-year-old woman charged with multiple offenses, including using abusive language against public officers. Her case took an unexpected twist when it was revealed that she has a Douyin account with over 265,000 followers. In this video, we're going to unravel the story, analyze the legal implications, and even speculate on what might be next for her. On October 10, Han Faizi found herself at Singapore General Hospital, where she allegedly became abusive towards hospital staff when asked to wear a mask. Her refusal to cooperate led to police involvement, and she even attempted to grab an officer's security pass. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Han Faizi's Douyin account, with a significant following, offers us a glimpse into her life. She often posted videos shot at luxurious locations, such as the sale at Marina Bay and dining in high-end restaurants. We've even seen her vacationing in places like Sonia, China, and Tokyo, Japan. Now, let's talk about the legal side of this story. Han was charged with multiple offenses, including being a public nuisance and using abusive language against public officers. The court granted her bail at $15,000, but it appears she couldn't find an eligible bailer, which led to her being escorted out of police cantonment complex. In Singapore, a bailer must be a Singapore citizen or permanent resident aged 21 and above, meeting specific criteria. Han's inability to find a bailer led to her being handed over to prison personnel. Now, here's where I want to hear from you, our 2230 community. What are your thoughts on this case? Do you believe that social media played a significant role in the public's perception of Han Faiz's situation? And what do you think might happen next in this intriguing legal case? Share your opinions in the comments below. That's a wrap for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more engaging content from 2230. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.